What we are going to do today is process a stop chamfer. I have a pre-made example so you will know exactly what it looks like. You can see a flat section which slopes back up to a point at both ends. The first thing we will do is put two cuts using a tenon saw where the flat section meets the sloped section. Put the piece securely in the vise with the side being cut just outside the vise. Using a tenon saw, draw the tenon saw back towards you three times while having your thumb acting as a gauge. On the third drawback you can then continue cutting the piece. Only cut down as far as the line on both sides. As you can see here I have just cut above the line on both sides. We will repeat that same process again. Make sure that your fingers are kept back from the teeth of the saw to protect them. And there we have our first two saw cuts made so we can begin removing the waste material next. We will remove the sloped surfaces first. We are using a chisel that is wider than the face of the chamfer, which will make it easier to process. Taking small bits off at a time, remove the slope section down to the line. Remember keep your fingers behind the chisel edge at all times. You can see the material has only been removed as far as the line. Repeat the same process for the other side. Remember only taking small bits off at a time and keeping both hands on the chisel and your fingers kept behind the chisel edge. So there we've removed both slope surfaces and next we need to remove the middle section. Using the beveled edge towards the base of the chamfer we will remove the waste material. We do not use the flat side of the blade as this will dig into the chamfer and may damage the piece. So with both hands on the chisel remove small sections at a time. Keep an eye on both lines of the chamfer to ensure you are achieving a smooth flat surface. Be careful when chiseling towards the slope of the stop chamfer that you don't cut into it and damage it. And remember keeping both hands on the chisel. And small sections being removed at a time. We have one side removed so we need to turn the piece around and remove the rest of the waste material. Make sure your piece is secured firmly in the vise. And there we have our finished stop chamfer.